you're in a high-profile uh, battle, uh, legal battle with Intel that's scheduled to be litigated later this year. What's 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 going on there? We're engaged in two legal legal disputes uh, with relate to Intel. One of them, um, they initiated, and we sued, we countersued. Uh, the second one uh, is related to the FTC um, with respect to antitrust. On the first one, uh, you know, we entered into a relationship with Intel uh, many years ago, whereby they wanted to have our intellectual property to integrate into their technology. For example, putting graphics into chipsets, putting graphics into CPUs. Um, we wanted to expand the market reach of our GPUs so that we could uh, have GPUs as, as uh, discrete processors or GPUs integrated into chipsets and others. So you, so you essentially said, sure, we'll sell you that. We'll sell you the right to use that technology. Or we ended into an agreement whereby they have some rights and we have some rights. They decided that we were uh, uh, becoming too successful, and they decided to block our ability to, um, uh, to, uh, to uh, capture the benefits of our rights, whereas they would like to continue to retain the benefits of the rights that they negotiated from us. We don't think that's fair. And so when they, when they, uh, when they sued us, uh, we countersued back um, over that particular uh, uh, agreement. On the antitrust litigation, what could change for consumers if, if NVIDIA prevails in court? Well, the FTC sued Intel over antitrust behavior. And one of, one of FTC's concerns is Intel's um, uh, attempt to, and behavior of blocking the GPU from getting into the marketplace. Today, if you're buying a high-end uh, desktop PC, uh, you could have amazing graphics, and and um, and a GPU inside is doing 3D graphics for you, and video is great, and it's snappy and it's high performance. However, in certain form factors like notebooks, where Intel bundles everything together and prevents um, uh, other technology companies like ourselves, like the GPU, from being able to be purchased by our customers, then the consumer in a notebook environment can't benefit mm. from uh, great graphics like they can on desktop computers. So presumably their defense is a laptop's a small form factor, we've got to cram a lot in there, we can't possibly accommodate this other chip, correct? They, they can't possibly accommodate it from a, from a performance, le- uh, from a power level yeah. or square footage level, right, square inch level or, or even pricing level. And this is what they'll argue. They'll argue they, these other guys are saying we're keeping them out. Nothing could be further from the truth. We're trying to we're trying to ma- to manage a good product here. That's their argument, but it's all completely nonsense. Um, we could put a GPU into the smallest computers, the MacBook Air. We could put a GPU into the smallest um, smallest PC, the netbook. So let me ask you a, let me ask you this in a non-lawyerly way, which is wh- what do you want from Intel? Uh, on the first dispute, which is that we directly have with them over what is called the, the chipset license or the bus license. In that, particular, in that particular dispute, we just simply want our ability to have a fair outcome. You believe they've harmed you, though, so I, you would want money f- from them as a, as a resolution. Well, they certainly harmed our, our ability to grow into the marketplace. It's a several billion dollar uh, business opportunity for us. We build the world's best chipsets. Uh, we build the world's best uh, um, GPUs with chipsets in it, and um, our customers are the most most uh, discriminating of customers in the world. And um, uh, if not because of their behavior, uh, we certainly have a much larger chipset business. And so there, uh, there's about about uh, uh, making sure that that uh, uh, the court um, decides uh, to um, compensate us for for uh, the lost opportunities as well as as well as um, uh, neutralizing uh, the, uh, the playing field so that they get what is right to them and we get right is, what is right to us. Am I correct? That's scheduled to go to court later this year? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So when you say you're looking forward to it, you mean you're not interested in settling for a financial uh, settlement earlier? Uh, there's no reason to, to do that. I think, I think um, uh, you know, this is a, they're a large company, we're a large company. We both have uh, plenty of financial and, and legal resources. Uh, you know, this is one of those things where I would really like to have the judge um, and, and the court um, uh, be able to take a look at the situation and, and uh, decide what is right.